I'm glad I could help Elizabeth. Yeah, I love this little thing. Just push your drum card around. Pull back on the fiber, pull up a little bit to kind of stretch it out. And then push your dizz down towards the carter. Pull up again, pull more fiber up and off, kind of stretch it out, and then push your dizz down. You just gotta keep in mind the staple, the staple length of the fiber that you're using is pretty much all you have to really think about is merinos two to three inches, so I want to pull out two to three inches, push down two to three inches, and then pull out two to three inches more. If I if I pull more than two to three inches, it'll most likely break. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you're dizzing it off is not to pull too much or else it'll break. So pull it just enough and then push down. Draft it out. Push it down, draft it out. And this is 16 micron merino wool in rainbow colors. Um, I had some sparkle, some Angelina fiber in there. And this is 16 micron merino wool I got from Arlene from Wild Bull Farm. I'm going to be putting this video up on YouTube and more how-to videos up on YouTube once I start doing more, but I'm gonna do more for you guys. And I will put this video up on my website if you wanna refer back to it so you can, uh, if you wanna do the roving thing and do it by yourself, you can do it off of your blending board, you can do it off of hand carters, you can do it off of your own drum carter. Um, so yeah, if you want to use this as a how-to video for yourself, I, I've got a second camera going right now so I can upload it up onto, uh, YouTube after and then I'll post it up on the website. I'll, I'll make a whole, uh, video card on the website so I can post all the videos in one spot. And I'll also, um, I'll put it up on my business page on Facebook as well, Reservoir Fibers and probably link it on my Instagram too. You can find me on Instagram as well. I have a bunch of pictures up on there, Reservoir Fibers on Instagram. But yeah, we'll definitely be doing more of these videos now that I have this. I'll show you how to make different bats and it'll be fun. We'll have fun. Ugh. I wish I could show you guys this in person because it's just so pretty. It's it's like a unicorn tail. Push it is back down. Just some more fiber up and off. Push it is down towards the carter. And you just do that over and over again, all the way around until it's all off. And then you'll just have your very own roving that you made yourself. And you can make whatever yarn you ever want with whatever colors you want. I'd recommend getting wool from Arlene. I'd recommend BZB too. She has great rovings that are like this if you don't want to make it yourself. Um, she has rovings that have a lot of colors in them like this. Uh, Kamaj Fiber Arts too. She sells some really nice rovings on there. There's lots of fiber artists. I can't even name them all. Kim, she's got great braids. Um... Emily Hopkins, she's got great stuff. Bren, she's got amazing stuff. Like, there's so many good fiber artists out there with great hand-dyed wools. But 
I go to Arlene a lot, so I'm just recommending her because I love the fiber I get from her. I got all this wool from her, actually. Pull up on the fiber, draft it out, push down on your days. Draft it out, push down on your days. See that? It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see this bucket of rainbows right now, but oof, so, so pretty. And I'll be selling this. Um, this roving unless someone wants me to turn it into yarn for them but I will most like, likely be selling this roving once I find out how much it weighs I'll be able to figure out a price Let's see we're dizzing it off of this carter we've already got all this off and a whole bucket full the whole thing that you want to do is you want to pull your wool up off the drum carter. I've got this little tool to help get the little stray fibers up and off. You want to draft it out and then push your dizz down so you make this continuous strand of roving. And you just keep doing that all the way around. You pull up on the wool. Draft it out a little bit, push back down. And you want to keep in mind what fiber you're using and the staple length of it. Because you you don't want to draft it out too much. You want to think, so I'm using Merino. It's two to three inches staple length. So I want to pull out two to three inches and then stop and push my diz down. Because if I pull any more, I'll break this and then I won't have a continuous strand anymore. So. You just want to keep in mind your staple length when you're doing this. Just pull up, push forward. And we look it looks like we're making a unicorn <laughs> rainbow tail and I love it right now. There's tons of sparkle in this. I put a bunch of Angelina fibers in this. And for those of you watching who don't know, this is what you use to spin into yarn. This is um, a prep, a, a spinning prep called carding. It's a drum carter, and you can put different kinds of fibers and wools together and different colors and blend them all and make your own colorways and make whatever yarn you want, whatever roving you want, which is pretty fun. But yeah, this is what you use to spin yarn. Just keep doing this, pull it up, push forward, pull it up, push forward. Draft it out, push it as forward. And now we have this whole bucket of fluff. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Look at that rainbow. Oh my gosh. It's all 16 micron merino and some Angelina in there. It looks like a unicorn tail. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Mom? What, buddy? Why do you keep doing that? 
because I've got people watching. I'm talking to people on the internet. <laughs> I'm doing a video, bud, of how to make roving. We're dizzing roving off of a drum carter. And then we turn the roving into yarn. And yes, this will be up for grabs. This roving will be up for sale unless someone wants me to spin it into yarn for them. But otherwise, this will be up for grabs, and I do have more, and I can always order more if anyone wants more. This was a test run, and I love the way it came out, so I'm definitely going to have to order more. Um, but yeah, if you want some for yourself, let me know, and I can definitely make another batch. And I do plan on making another batch, and I will be making actually a whole how-to video on how to make a rainbow bat start to finish and I'll be putting that on YouTube as well to go with this whole making roving thing I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this though but yeah it takes some getting used to this took me some uh, a few tries to get <laughs> definitely but once you get it, you're good. It's really fun. Me of a unicorn tail right now. I just have a bucket of rainbows right now. Like, this is so awesome. Look at that roving. Isn't that so unbelievably beautiful? Rainbows. Rainbows. Mom. What, buddy? I'm on, I have a video going, bud. So we lift up the wool off the carter. My little pick, get all the stragglers off. Draft it out a little bit. Push your diz forward. Get some more wool up off. Draft it out a little bit. Push your diz forward. Pull up some more wool, draft it out, push your dizz forward, and then that'll make one continuous strand the whole way. And it will take you a few tries. This took me like four tries to finally get continuous. I had to do nests the first couple times, but you will get it if you practice, I promise. And I will be posting this up on YouTube and posting it up on my website so you can refer back to it if you want to use it as a tutorial so you can do it yourself with your own drum carter or you can do it off of hand carters or you can do it off of your blending board or if you have combs you can dizz off combs I don't have combs I have hand carters and a blending board and a drum carter but combs are fun too I need to get some of those as well that's another thing that I need <laughs> But I hope this helps everybody because I surely needed videos to teach me how to diz off of my drum carter. So, and there are definitely none on Facebook that I could find. So now there's one on Facebook. So share away, guys. Share away. <laughs> Tutorial. And this is a uh, fancy kitty drum carter. It's a Little Tom XL wide. Um, it's a fine tooth, 120, 90, 90, 120 teeth per inch. They're great, though. It's a really, really nice machine. It maybe weighs like 14 pounds, the whole thing. But they hand make them for you. They make them to order. It took about two and a half weeks, three weeks for it to get here, but 
it was so worth the wait. It works awesome. I love it. I would recommend it. I got my rainbow fibers from Wild Wolf Farm. Arlene, she's got a um, Facebook group. Um, what is it called? Fiber and Yarn Frenzy of Wild Wolf Farm on Facebook. It's a group. You can get wool and, and other things on there from her. Different kinds of wools. But I just love this. this is her 16 micron merino wool she has right now. And it is amazing. And I would totally recommend getting it. I got a bunch of it. And I love it. She's a really nice lady. She lets you do layaway and everything. So I love her. We have a great relationship. I love her to death. And she lets me put so much stuff on layaway. And I buy all the fiber. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fluff. Look at that unicorn roving. Ooh, isn't that so pretty? Show my other camera. And this will be for sale. If it doesn't sell on Facebook right away, then I'll put it up um, on my website, possibly. No, I most likely will. I'll, put, I'll make a uh, spinning fiber section on there pull it up push your days down we're almost halfway done, too. How awesome. Pull it up, drop it out. Pull it up, drop it out. And I've, I made my diz out of a button. <laughs> I had a clay diz, but... I put too much stress on it when I was trying to put my roving through it, pull roving through it, so it kind of disintegrated in my hand while I was trying to make roving it exploded. So um, I had to find my button and put a bigger hole in it, and it seems to be working thus far. So it works for now, but um, yeah, clay dizzes, beware of clay dizzes because I definitely had a bad experience with one. <laughs> But plastic seems to work great. I've heard metal ones work great. Wood ones. But just clay. Beware of clay. Pull up your wool. Draft it out a little bit. Push your button towards your Diz. I mean, towards your Carter. Your button. I should say your Diz. I'm using a button. <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you guys like the video. I hope this helps people who don't know how to do this. It's really fun. And I will be doing another how-to video on how to make a rainbow bat start to finish for you guys. I'll probably do a live video for that. Um, but it kind of took me all day last time, so I might have to do it in sections or something. Um, but I will do a how-to video on that if I have to do it on YouTube or whatnot. But I will do a start-to-finish how-to rainbow bat thing for you guys. And then I will be posting a video on how to make the roving up on YouTube as well and you can find me at Reservoir Fibers on YouTube and Instagram and on Facebook the, my business page I'll post everything all over my pages so you'll find the links but www.reservoirfibers.com is my website you'll find everything there too I'll post everything up on there so you guys can find it
your wool, draft it out a little bit, push your jizz down. Pull your wool towards you, draft it out a little bit, push your jizz down. Now look at this bucket of fluff that we have right now. Bucket of unicorn fluff. So pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh, the colors are so pretty. Rainbow. Who doesn't love rainbows, right? Pull up, pull back, push forward. Pull up, pull towards you, and then push your disc forward. Pull the wool off towards you, push forward. And this will just make that continuous strand of roving throughout the whole length. And then you can make whatever you want, whenever you want. And life is good, and life shall be awesome, and fiber art. So much roving here right now. How cool is that? Look at all those colors. It literally looks like a unicorn tail. That's the only way I can describe it. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty and it's so fluffy? 16 micron merino wool. Super fine. Like it's so, so beautiful. It's nice and springy. I've made a bunch of yarn out of this already and I love it. And I know you'll love it too. I'm gonna have this available for purchase. So whoever wants it, you better grab it because I have a feeling it's gonna go fast. Thank you, Katia. We're almost done. Look at this. Pull up your wool off your carter. Draft it out a little bit. Push your dis down. Pull up on your wool. Draft it out. It's staple length a little bit. And then push your dis down. Just always keep in mind that staple length because if you pull out too much, it's going to break and then you won't have continuous roving anymore. You're going to end up with having to make nests or something. So just keep that in mind, whatever fiber you're using, make sure you know the staple length when you're dizzing. You'll get the, you get used to it after a while. You'll know and it'll be second nature after you do it. But, you know, just to say it because I didn't know how to do this because I didn't know how, how far to pull and, you know, that I just couldn't do it. And it was because I didn't know I had to pull a little bit, pull those fibers, stretch them a little bit, and then push my divs down, pull up on the wool, draft it out a little bit, and then push down. I was trying to pull it all through and it wasn't working because, of course, it's not going to work. This is the right way to do it. Draft it, push. Draft it out and push. You can find videos on www.reservoirfibers.com. You can find a gallery of all my previous 
like pictures of my work and I'll be putting this video and other tutorials up I'll be making a bunch more on how to make bats and roving and it'll be fun <laughs> I'll be putting up a bunch of stuff so you can find everything at www.reservoirfibers.com. I have a bunch of pictures up on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. That's also Reservoir Fibers. We have a Twitter that's Reservoir Fibers. Um, so yeah, you can find us on all those social media sites and on YouTube at Reservoir Fibers. And I'm going to also post this up on YouTube, this how-to, so you can refer back to it so you can use it as a tutorial if you want to make your own roving. But look, we are almost done, and we have not broken it. It's amazing. We made all continuous roving. So happy right now. Draft out your wool. Push down on your dizz. Draft out your wool, push down on your dizz. Draft out your wool, push down on your dizz. Draft out your wool, push down on your dizz. We're almost done. Draft out, push down, draft out, push down. Look at this. Look at all that roving. So pretty. Rainbows. Oh, so beautiful. And see how much work this is, fiber art? This has taken me 43 minutes to do this so far. 43 minutes to make this roving. And not to even count making the bat itself. That took me like all day yesterday. So I can't even imagine how much this thing weighs right now, actually. Draft out your wool, push down your dizz. Draft out your wool, push down your dizz. Draft out your wool, push down your dizz. Draft out, push down. Draft out, push down. Like I said before, you can find everything at www.reservoirfibers.com. I'll be posting all my videos up on there as well as YouTube. And I'll be posting links on my business page on Facebook, Reservoir Fibers, as well as Instagram. And I will be making a lot more how-to videos. The next one will be how to make a rainbow bat, just like this one. But I hope this helps everyone who didn't know how to make their own roving before. I hope it helps you be able to make it now. You can use this technique on your blending board. You just have to kind of go in an S shape on your blending board versus being able to go in a circle on a drum carter. But it's the same thing. You can do it on hand carters as well.
I'm gonna have to get more black. I can definitely make more of this roving for people. I'll let you guys know how much I have available once I'm done. I'll weigh it. And I'll let you guys know how much it costs and see who wants it. Or if anyone wants me to spin it up for them, I can do that as well. I can spin it into yarn for you if you want. Just let me know, guys, because this one will go quick. I know it will. It's beautiful. We are almost done. See how much hard work this is, though? This took almost an hour to pull all this roaming off. Almost a full hour to make this. And remember, that's not even counting the time to make the actual bat itself, so. Respect your fiber artists, okay? Your crafters, your handmade artisans. Respect. Ah, oh, I just broke the roving. Oh well, that's okay. We have a bunch. And I'll take the rest of this off later. Well, I'll take it off right now, but um, I'll make another video later. Thank you for watching, guys.